consider the Venn diagram that shows a cardinality of each set. Use this information to find the cardinality of the given sets. First, we have the cardinality of A complement, which is equal to the number of elements not in set A. Because we have a Venn diagram, we can also think of A complement as a set of elements outside set A. So if this is set A, the set of elements outside set A, or the set of elements not in set A, which is A complement, is this set here. Which means the cardinality of A complement is equal to six plus seven, which is 13. Next we have the cardinality of A intersect to B complement, which is equal to the number of elements in set A and not in set B. Let's look at this one in more detail. Here we have the graph of set A. Here we have the graph of B complement, which again is a set of elements not in set B. Because we have A intersect B complement, we are looking for the set of elements that are in both of these sets, or are in set A and in the set B complement. So the set of elements in both of these sets is the set of elements here, the set of elements that are only in set A. So this is A intersect B complement because this set of elements is in set A and also in the set B complement. And therefore the cardinality of A intersect B complement is equal to 11. Next we have the cardinality of B union A complement which is equal to the number of elements in set B or not in set A. And again, let's look at this one in more detail. Here we have the graph of set B. Here we have the graph of A complement. Because we have B union A complement, we are looking for the set of elements that are in set B or in the set A complement. Or we can think of combining these two sets. If we were to combine these two sets into one set, notice how the only elements that would not be in the union would be the set of elements in this region here. All the other elements would be included, and therefore the graph of B union A complement is this set here. All these elements are in set B or in the set A complement, and therefore the cardinality of B union A complement is equal to six plus nine plus seven, which is 22. And for the last example, we have the cardinality of A complement intersect B complement, which is equal to the number of elements not in set A and not in set B. So looking at this in more detail, here we have the graph of A complement, here we have the graph of B complement. Because we have A complement intersect B complement, we are looking for the set of elements that are in A complement and also in B complement, which would be the set of elements outside set A or set B or outside this set here, and therefore A complement intersect B complement is this set here. This is a set of elements that are in the set A complement and also in the set B complement. And therefore the cardinality of A complement intersect B complement is equal to six. I hope you found this helpful.